What up, this is Rama Screen covering movies, TV, and entertainment, and here's my review of Disney Nature new documentary feature, Dolphin Reef. Hey, before you watch this review, please subscribe to my channel, press that like button, and ring that bell so you can get notified whenever I post new videos. And if you would like to help support this channel, please do so at patreon.com slash ramascreen. That's patreon.com slash ramascreen. Let's rock this. First up, I would like to say thank you to Disney Plus for granting me the screener to this new docu. This is one of two new films that they're giving you this weekend, by the way. So you are in for a double treat. Now with that said, I gotta be honest with you. I enjoyed Elephant way more than I did Dolphin Reef. In fact, I find a lot about Dolphin Reef that are somewhat problematic. Well, for one, the story is scattered all over the place. It jumps from dolphins to then about mantis shrimp, and then it becomes about a pod of whales. It's like the film has ADHD and can't make up its mind on what it wants to focus on. Directed by Keith Scully, who gave us bears, Dolphin Reef introduces a young Pacific bottlenose dolphin named Echo, who can't quite decide if it's time to grow up and take on new responsibilities. Dolphin society is tricky, and the coral reef that Echo and his family call home depends on all of its inhabitants to keep it healthy. But Echo has a tough time resisting the many adventures the ocean has to offer. Finding the right story is indeed part of the challenge for these nature documentarians. Sometimes they have to have long patience and wait for the animals to present their story to them. So perhaps Dolphin Reef has these subplots that distract and divide our attention. It's because just the dolphins alone may not be sufficient enough to fill the runtime quota. But every time the focus goes elsewhere, I'm just begging for it to return to Echo again. Because watching the young dolphin try to make a sand ring so that he can eat the little fish, in my opinion, is 10 times more interesting than whatever the supporting characters are doing. I don't have any complaints about the underwater shots. The close-up ones, in particular, are breathtaking. You feel as if you're swimming next to the animals. And the way they splice that up with some cool aerial shots as well, it really doesn't get more intimate and visceral than this. I think Natalie Portman does a decent job of narrating it. There's a level of childlike wonder and curiosity to her voice, but I just don't think the writing is as compelling as it could be. I find myself more immersed in the journey of Elephant than I did Dolphin Reef. There are times while screening this film that Suddenly, I just lost interest and got bored. Although the score by Oscar-winning composer Stephen Price does manage to stay in the back of my head. Look, I'm not saying Dolphin Reef is a terrible documentary. All I'm saying is that between Elephant and Dolphin Reef, between those two choices, hands down, Elephant is the superior one. 